Hey guys, and welcome back to the Primo Show and how to make money in GTA the series. This is getting pretty good. And the thing is, is it's it's so important that you guys, especially these new players, I'm telling you, every time I go on some kind of forum or group or post or something, there's some kind of like somebody asking me to say, hey, how do you make money in GTA? How do you do this stuff? And that's the thing is, is, I think it's important for us to be able to bring you something so you guys can kind of figure it out and kind of work it out and see how it works. So you can see here, I got my Secure Serve business going. I got my CEO started. And uh, to do this next thing we're going to do here, we're going to need it. So I already got my thing here. I got my, my lady. Good to see you, yep, boss. I'm sure you're good to see you too, I guess. So anyway... <laughs> There's a couple of things that we have to do here to do this. And what we're going to do today is kind of a little bit of a grind session. Some of you guys love the grinding thing. Can I sit down? I'm sure I can. It's my office, right? Oh, there we go. Um, I'm sure some of you guys love, a lot of you guys love grinding. And if there's any kind of grinding that does anything important or spe Whoa, my dude, like, put that down on the table. Sweet. Um is going to be grinding so you can see these are all the different areas you can have businesses in right now the only thing i have from this is the uh export import business which is a uh the car business so today we're going to be doing something with the car oriented business about how to basically pick up cars uh the easiest way to grab stuff steal it take it away that kind of thing uh, but the other thing I want to do, you know, I got to do this real quick because we got to figure out the buy-in for this. And this is something that's really expensive uh, to do. So, and I want to write things down like before I did this and I, we were kind of on the fly. So it kind of all worked out. But now it's like I want us to be able to um, to write it down because it's a big deal. So Dynasty Executive, I believe it is. Yeah, here we go. So here's your different businesses. So you can say I have Maze Bank Tower. There is there's uh, Arcadia Business Center. There's Maze Bank West, which is a million. So that's the thing is, is to do this, I'm gonna say let's just write that down there. So the buy-in for this first one is base one million for your tower. Let's call it. Okay, so I already have a tower. Well, let's renovate it. I don't know how much I have here. So decor, personalized. Yep, you can do that. Organization name. You can change that for like 100000 So the gun locker. I tried to do this, guys, so you could see it. 520000 Safe. 335000 Accommodations. 795000 So basically, all in all, you yeah, let's say... A million five all all in if you wanted to get crazy with it. So, but you you don't need to do any of that. Um, decor can get like you said here. They can get crazy. Let's see, nine hundred ten man, nine hundred ten thousand man. Rockstar is getting away with all sorts of stuff here. You're gonna, I think, uh, all the fe the male one costs more than the female. Is it, oh, or maybe it's already selected. But I think that one is one. So it's one hundred fifty thousand, and I think it's automatically put into it. So. Uh, organization name why is it flashing no that's fine all right so we got that and then once you do this oh I just gotta get out of that then you'll have this sweet sweet office decor building which I'm still gonna call it a million because that's what it takes to buy into it so so we can access our desktop well, again, I hope you guys didn't see it. So this is it, vehicle cargo. So let's see. I'm going to write that down. Vehicle cargo missions. See, so there's that. Uh, let's see the warehouse map. Yeah, so is there like a... Is there a way I can, like, maybe... Vehicle warehouse map? I want to see how much they cost. Nope. Uh, maybe we can renovate warehouse? I don't know. Anyway. Every business needs... Okay, so you just do stuff. Whatever it is. Anyway. 
Uh, I'm going to look that price up later and I'll put it in the description of the video. I think it's like a million something to get this. So to even get the map, you have to have a million. And then once you do that, then you can source vehicle. There is a cooldown time of, I think, 20 minutes between each thing. So you can kind of pack it in together. I think you can source a vehicle pretty much as much as you want. And as you can see, mine's already 58% filled because I don't really do much with it anymore. I make a lot more money with other stuff. And I really did get involved with it a little bit when I was having fun with friends. And we ended up making $25 million, which is not bad. So what we're going to do here, because we want to do this on a timer. I don't want my timer to break because it's trying to right now. Okay, let's start the timer. Usually we do these in hour long intervals. Again, this is not a speed. Oh, good. We got a top range car. Cool. All right. So, top ranges are going to pay out the most. Hopefully, we don't get donked too badly. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here, which is going to be kind of weird, is I'm going to go on. I'm going to go to the roof. Now, you probably wonder why I'm going to the roof first. And that's because I need to know which vehicle I need. One of the optional things that you might want to get is a cargo bob. We'll look at the price of that in a second. Now, I'm coming up here because she's going to call me. Okay, the vehicle's been lent to a photographer for the day. Get past security, get the car, and bring it in. Photographer, okay. So hopefully that's a good one. I want to go back in. Why am I not going back in? Come on. Might, might have me go back in that way. Ah, here we go. So the deal is, is if I have the cargo bob, I can go get the cargo bob, and the cargo bob makes things easier. But there are certain ones like the street race, where you have to race somebody else to the finish. Uh, or beat the guy's, I'm sorry, beat the guy's time. Hello. Um, what can I do for you? Concierge service. I need as my... As soon as you've decided, I'll get the Pegasus rep to cargo repair bomb. the vehicle. Sure. It's now on I'm the stuck way to until the I get the cargo bomb. <laughs> okay, so if you have to do the race ones or the timed ones, you can't use your cargo bob. So that's that. Like, you're just going to have to do whatever it is. There's another one where it's, um, where you're attacking the, um... When you're attacking some Meriwether convoy thing, most of the times I just blow it up because it's such a pain in the butt because it has two buzzards. And the goal that they are after is how much damage to do to your car when it when you deliver it. Because you're going to make some of the money back, but it's kind of deceptive because you're like, oh, well, you know, what about this? What about this? I'm like, yeah, it's, it's made to, to, to doink you. Oh, one other thing. You're going to find this. I'm in a public lobby, and I'm in by myself. Now, the way I do it, there's a lot of people out there that glitch it and do some other stuff. I'm not going to suggest that. I am going to say if you if you do enough work, you can find a, a, a public with nobody in it. I do find friends, and uh, most of the times when I have friends, if they end up going online or leaving or something, it it always like it ends up with a room with like one of my friends, and that's it, and and then it's like it's over. I don't know why it does it like that for me, but it is what it is. Whatever works for you, works for you. I'm not going to question it. Um, I'm doing it right now because... Um, I just need to get it done. Oh, darn it. Uh, there's one other guy here. I don't want to get shot. Yep, you're dead. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get this car. I probably could take it from over here, but I'm not going to. Uh, the other thing is, is when you're in a room by yourself, you're going to get attacked by bad guys here and uh, on your runs. So you have to be careful about that. If you, you'll get attacked. If you have other people in the room, you'll get attacked by the other guys when you're driving back, but you won't get attacked when you're trying to deliver it because it kind of counts the people in the room. Um, so that's that. Also, if everybody leaves the room and you're you're picking up a car, the car will uh, the car will like not work anymore. It just basically like breaks. Um, I it was so funny that I uh, I decided that I was gonna um, complain to Rockstar that my car blew up because I was in a delivery. I did not realize that somebody had left the room, 
And I was like, oh, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to do this and deliver the thing, and then it'll be all good. And they were just like, oh, yeah, that's that's what happens when you're the last person in the room. So <laughs> kind of felt like a little bit of an idiot there, but, I mean, experience and all, you'll you know later. See? So I got me a hella chopper coming after me. That's standard. That's going to happen regardless of what happens. Yep, they're coming after you. I like the ones where it's the cop ones because um, cause there's a lot of different kind of delivery modes and stuff. Uh, when you do the cop ones, those are the ones that are that are easiest to do because um, they're not going to attack. It'll be good if we get a repair cost of zero. That's usually the best way because everything we make is profit. Uh, but it doesn't always happen. So, just like that. But look, I'm pretty good at knowing when these idiots don't know how to follow you because I go right into the bridge. <laughs> There's my delivery point right there. And I think they kind of give up once you get right to the door. They try to cheat, yeah, sure. There you go. So it just grabs it, puts it in. Uh, the other thing is, is that it might blow up my cargo bob going from one thing to the other. So we might have to request another cargo bob. I mean, it's 400 bucks. So I, I don't ever complain about it. Um, you, you can complain as much as you like. So it's not going to make any difference. But <laughs> okay. So let's land real quick. Now notice uh, we're five, uh, six minutes in so far. We've made zero dollars. But the good thing is, is we have not accrued effectively any expenses other than the buy-in cost. Oh, and so for a cargo bob, let's look at that real quick. We'll do look at one in more stock. Uh, there's one in here that has a really long wire, which is good, but it makes it easier to hit it. I like the tight one of the um, the other cargo bob because it's nice and tucked in. It's hard to hit it. So we'll look at that real quick. Oh, here we go. So one million. One million seven. Let me change my table here so you can hear me. One million seven hundred and ninety thousand for that one. One million nine hundred ninety-five thousand. You can shove it, because <laughs> I'm not getting that one. Okay. All right. That car is registered on your Securo Serve account. Come yep. Nobody cares. Anyway. So now, once we've done one, we get to run back here and order another one. Well, that was my... I told you. It was going to blow up. It is what it is. Okay, so we'll access our laptop. Okay, so there's our top range car right there. We are ready to export something. Uh, export collection. So if you have four players, you can do these exports. You usually end up with the two ones. I'm probably not going to have anything. Oh, look, I just need Snowflake. And I'm good to roll on that one. So you can see these. this one is the good one. I really like that one. Uh, and it also pays out really well to the people who are on your, your group that does it. So, so we're going to go ahead and export this bad boy. And I always go for the big one. So that's going to be what? High-end modifications was 10,000. So 100,000 minus uh, 10, 9, 8. So we'll say 80. We'll say I think it's 80,000. Uh, but it's possible that that this could be damaged so and you have to do like all your stuff here so I just do the uh, the fun stuff that everybody will be like are you serious like yeah. paid well below my skill level horn standard truck uh, oh was it how do the horn uh, light spoiler uh, yeah, okay. Now Anything to get me ahead me. so I can actually move ahead and I don't have to. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I won't go far. So, yep. Okay. 
it's all or nothing on this no, one. No, it's not. The work wasn't yeah, cheap. Shut up. Uh, you know what? I am scared that I haven't called the right car in. So first, I'm gonna call in my other thing here. You calling for some yes. wheels? I'm Johnny on the spot. I'll hook you up. There. It's on the way. Uh, I don't think I can. Yeah, I can do the buzzer, but I can't do the other one. So yeah, so I'll have to call uh, Pe Pegasus and request a cargo bomb. And it's going to show up over there. Hello, you're through to Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? I would like a cargo bomb. Great. The aircraft is waiting for you at our nearest airfield. Did my... We trust you'll be happy, sir. Are you serious? Oh my god, it parked my car all the way over there. Okay, so can I call a buzzer at the same time? Yes, I can. Magic. So, I total market value is a million five hundred ninety-five thousand. My commission, see, it says a hundred thousand, but it's not a hundred thousand. It's eighty thousand. See what I'm saying? They mess with you. Okay, well, good thing they parked it over here. Now, that's the other problem with this one is that sometimes these guys over here are not friendly. So they see me as stealing stuff, so they may attack me. But I should live. I drop my. Right on the D pad to drop my little hook. Spent all my time talking. I only got 13 minutes to deliver the car. That would suck if our first delivery is like... Mm, come on, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Ugh, come on. Are you serious? I'm rubbing that thing against it. This is the only problem with the cargo bob. Finally, okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna go real high here because the second I move, there's gonna be people shooting at it. So we're at 11 minutes right now. The other thing is you can see from the arrow there that I need to go a little bit higher. I don't know where we're gonna drop this off at. See the two red dots? Now those won't be there if you have other people in your room. That's only because I have a solo room. So yeah, so I mean, you've had I've had seen people. So you, you bring your car back; it's got five thousand in damage. You did twenty thousand in work, so that's twenty five thousand with a hundred thousand. That's not. That's only that's only making seventy five thousand. I don't care what anybody says. But we're going to get this back. Undamaged. Because we have a cargo bob. And that's the thing. is, If you make $25 million, it is what it is. But everybody keeps telling me, like, oh, this is the one. This makes the big bucks, right? Remember, that's what we're trying to figure out here is what makes, what makes the cake and what doesn't make the cake and what makes the best cake and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Because that's the thing that I always think. People think, oh, well, I do this and it makes this much money. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. Cayo Perico still makes a ton of money. And people are kind of fooled into thinking like, oh, well, I see this this level of money here. That See what I'm saying? Like, you hear them hitting them? They, they cheat like crazy. They, it's, they, they do not want you to they make a dime on any of these deliveries. And there we go. So it says a hundred thousand, but we know the hundred thousand commission. So that's our first one. Was a hundred thousand minus the twenty thousand buy-in. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, oh, what did that say? 
I didn't see what it said. Now I'm going to look later. I think it did say 100,000, but... Yeah. Okay, we yeah, did it. We did it. I'll be right back. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go back over here. And we're going to set up another delivery mission. But unfortunately, when we get back, there's a good chance that the refresh rate of the delivery will not have spawned yet. So we might have to do something else in our CEO mission list, like a headhunter or something like that. So we only need one car because we only need to deliver one. But you don't know. This is going to be like if you're just doing this and just kind of grinding your way around. Um, you got to figure out how you want to do it because sometimes they won't. Like you get a standard car, you get a mid-range car. I, we may not get another high-end car like we just did. And we're still going to have to wait to deliver it. So we got to figure out what we want to do. Okay. Anything you need, Bob. I need you to, to stop that. <laughs> okay. So we're at the 15 minute mark now. It's not too bad, right? We've already made 80. Was it was at 80. Why am I not in the computer yet? No, I, dude, don't stand up. I just pressed the button to, to go on the computer. All these things now that they used to like update you on. Like, oh, yeah, this, 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 and this. I'm like, I don't care. Okay, so can we... Yes, we can already source a vehicle. Beautiful. Okay, another top range. All right, so what's going on here? And sometimes this happens, which is really cool. You'll have to figure out how to make it work for yourself. But uh, So what will happen is, is that um, if you have a certain amount of vehicles already in your garage and you don't add more garage cars and you continue to deliver over and over, it just keeps giving you top range cars. It doesn't stop any of those cool down times. It doesn't stop any of that other stuff. So you just get top range cars. So that's good for us. Spooku bonus. Here we go. So. All right. You should have the details on this car. Bring it to the warehouse and try to look after it. We're charged for repairs. Everything about that I don't like. Uh. Okay. I don't trust it. Um, so let's see. What do we want to do here? I forgot what that one was. We got time, right? Uh, yeah, let's enter the office and we'll leave the office and go back down to the ground floor and get the, uh, I think I need to get a car. I think I might just steal one off the street. Doesn't matter, we're going to get shot at anyway, so. So I hope you guys are liking these. Uh, it, it's been a blast so far to put them together for you. Uh, to really test stuff and put numbers to paper. I know a lot of people had had some problems before about saying, Oh, well this makes this and this makes this. And nobody's done it actually any research, so. Uh, excuse me, sir. I have a nice oracle. And I would not want to mess it up. Meep, meep. Uh, so I hope you guys that are doing this are learning something from it, making your life easier to kind of figure out what's the best thing to do. Hey, should you steal this or should you steal that or should you do this or should you do that? There's a lot of stuff in there that's kind of... Oh, okay. I just haven't left the car after all. You might have to deal with them before you take it. Okay, well, this could be an easy one. Man, we're getting... The trick is not to hit the car. So did I hit the car? No, I didn't. All right. Well, we're just going to drive it this time. I'm sure they're going to be glitched bad guys everywhere attacking me. But we're pretty close to where we need to be, so that's going to kind of work out. Oh, don't crash it. Yep, there they are. So that's the other thing I wanted you guys to see, like, how brutally good these guys are at shooting, etc., etc. And they do 
tons of damage because the game doesn't want you to make any money off of any kind of production for these cars. It, it upsets me very much, by the way. Like, look at the aiming ability. Like, every time they shoot, it's dealing damage. Like, it's make it's costing money. And the cars all change in the road and cut you off and dr don't drive right and just get in the way and do everything they can to hurt you. And I don't think that I still think that we're gonna get another group of bad guys here. Or maybe not. That's a good thing. So three two oh nine. So that was the cost to buy in on this one. That's actually not too bad. I've seen a lot of you guys do do a lot more. So that one was $3,209 in damages. Okay, so we're at the 20 minute mark now. We usually go, we're gonna go for an hour. I might, depending on what the timing is, we might go to 45 minutes. Okay, that's on the books at your warehouse. You've got to use the SecuroSurf terminal at the office if you wanna go after another one. Yep, I'm aware. You hired me for a reason. Oh my god, look at me, I'm all beat up. Okay, so let's access and see how much time we have left on the old clock. So we got 13 minutes, so that's, what is it? 33. So at the 33 minute mark, we'll be ready to go. So see, you can tell, like, you gotta do something while you're waiting can't just deliver the car because why would that work so I think that 25 million that it tells you on the thing there is definitely not how much you actually get for the thing you know like for, for your payout oh yeah you want to not park it over there now okay sweet where is it When did it start doing this? Stupid. All right. Well, we got it over here. We'll go get get it with the. You know what? I'm just gonna do it with this. Uh oh, there's twenty thousand at my thing. Okay, cool. So secure serve. We're gonna need some VIP work, right? And headhunter. Start. Now, I understand. This is not on your list of things to do in here. The goal of this, obviously, is how I'm going to make money in GTA. So I think it would be stupid for us to do the math on the other thing and kind of not figure out how much you're going to make. So I'm going to do this just to show you where you're at if you add in Headhunter. So we'll do this separately and then kind of cue in how much we're going to make from the other one later down you know what I mean like so you can kind of separate the two and that way you can get an idea of what you need to do to make the moolah or at least how I do it did I really miss that guy That's, that can't be serious or is it oh he's on the other side Duh. Yeah, 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 I got you. You're upset. Really? I had a tone. Did I get him? Oh, I did get him. All right, cool. Oh, I probably got him before. Huh. All right, whatever. See what I'm saying? I don't like it when you can't hard, hard target a... Uh, headhunter. I think this will make 20,000. That should be cool. And it'll be something we can make money as while we're doing the, uh, while we're making for the other mission. Wow, okay. Okay, so is that, I think that's the one where it's on the other side of the building. But I don't think we can split the building in half, or can we? Ugh. 
It'll be my luck to do to like shoot me from a million miles out. Really? All right, well, that went fairly well. Who we got next? Oh, this guy's on the move. I like that. I like these move guys. The move guys aren't hiding behind a building and I can target them real easily. Oh. I knew I was going to press that button. What the heck? Wow, that is some... The, uh... Wow. Love their ability to hit you? That's <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> uh, too funny. Uh, which way am I going? Oh, there we go. Oh, he's on the run. He's on the run. Oh, maybe, um... Yeah, I get it. You're not going to live through this, pal. Let me guess. You're gonna put my thing on the other side of the universe again? It was that. Is that some kind of like thing they have? Oh, okay. Well, now you can. Now you fixed it. Ten minutes to to get the VIP. We're at 26, so we're still. I I cannot drive this thing. Yep, yep. You can shoot me from there. Magically, like Terminators don't have this kind. Of, really. Press the wrong button. Finally, right? Okay. Now, if I'm right, we'll make twenty thousand here, so that'll that'll boost our numbers a little bit. But I don't think it's going to get us where we want to be. Let's put it like that. I don't know if we're going to be able to. We might be able to sneak another cargo delivery in. So if we get three in their three top ranges that'll be 80, 80 160,000 so 200 and what? 250? So an hour would be on par with pretty much the Final Heist stuff. Which, my uh, Final Heist for the original Heist. That's not too bad though. Uh, and then you can slip in these things which really just... These little 20,000 things in here would really get. So I guess we'll kind of put in a modified. And that's why. Okay, so 22,000. Hit Hunter. VIP work. I'm not even looking at the screen. All right, cool. And we're at 27 for that, so we can go back to delivery thing. Oh, you know what? We'll call in Pegasus. Go ahead and get our uh, get our cargo, Bob. Get a little proactive. And by the time we get back, we'll be ready to start delivering. Hello, this is Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? Uh, you could get me a Thank cargo, you, Bob. Thank you, sir. Your spectacular aircraft is now ready for you at our nearest. Because now, airfield. after the way they deliver my oppressor, I'm gonna think like they don't know what they're doing. That's the other thing. I don't like that whole fade-in thing. I know they did it later because they didn't want people stealing other people's vehicles. But honestly, who cares? Like, that's kind of part of the fun. I hate the idea of it fading in and out. That's the other thing I want to say about the last one. We did the heist, the first heists. And um, after doing the math on that... I was actually astounded at how little you make based on time doing the Pacific Standard Heist. Because back in the day, that was gold. 
like compared to anything else we did, that was huge. And um, and that's the thing is, as we go back now and look at it, and it's like, oh, it's not worth much, you know. It's like okay, if you say so. But I mean, it's just I don't know. That just was really weird, man. Because back in the day, that was yeah, you grind pack standard over and over and over again. There was a they did have a glitch for it that was uh, that people were using, but it was like you if you hosted it. Uh, you couldn't make the money off of it. And I just, too many times you'd see people just go, oh, they made the money, and, you know, now it's, they can leave you hanging. So it's like, eh. Don't blow up my cargo bob. Don't blow up my cargo bob. Don't blow up my cargo bob. Okay, 29. We're still, like, two minutes out. I actually did that headhunter really fast. Yep, yeah, what'd I say? Three minutes? Where's our top range guy here? Car there he is. At least it's easier to pick up the cargo, Bob. So, yeah, we just going to have to wait the three minutes. So, how's everybody doing? How's the weather? Hope you had a good um, summer. Don't forget to turn your clocks back. If you watch this after Sunday, don't turn your clocks forward. Well, sorry, back forward. Don't, don't turn them back forward. <laughs> I don't want to troll anybody. Good time for a bathroom break. I think we're making good time. In fact, I think we're making better time than I thought we were going to make. So I think I am going to add in the headhunter stuff for pricing. I mean, for, um, for how much money you can make. I think it's fair, because you can do CEO and you're still doing the same stuff. You're still doing it in a free room. Now, a lot of these guys, and you'll probably figure it out, too, is that you don't have to just do one thing. Like, while you're doing these, you can build up your different businesses when you're working your... Let's say working a bike shop or something. Your MC business. Your MC business is going to be building up. And you can go over and get your stuff for that. And deliver that. And et cetera, et cetera. The thing that's going to bug me is when we have to do arcade. I mean, not arcade. Um, um, the nightclub. So when we do the nightclub stuff. That really just kind of builds itself over time. I think that's kind of kind of be... I'm going to use the words fairly impossible for us to kind of figure out because there is no kind of gauge for the nightclub. It just kind of builds up on its own. But we'll see what's up. We'll see what we can do anything about it. I'll keep working it. I think after this one, I'm going to do uh, the F1, st the open wheel stuff. See what I can make off that. In other words, like, you don't have to win every race. You just have to play. Um, obviously it's best to be done with, um, I'm, I'm going to say it's best to be done with randoms. And the reason is, is because it doesn't have catch up on it. Um, there are a lot of you guys that would run with other groups and people that you know, but what you can do there is you're going to have to gauge it yourself based on your ability and how you stand within your group. If you're a good racer, then you're going to be able to build up more money than say somebody else who does it. Who's, you know, if you continue to get wins and you have a room full of players, uh, the beauty of randoms is obviously you have a better idea of getting a room full uh, and getting more players in it versus do you can't do it solo. It's not going to do anything for you doing it solo. So it's just going to be find a find a race and you know do your best. So we're going to see how that works. And that, like I said, that's the only one I really think randoms work really well. And then like the contact missions can be okay, but you it's hit or miss, you know. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, I hate that. I you gotta remember that last second actually counts for something. Uh oh, I'd run around down here real quick. Was that one no, it wasn't one of the two, sweet. Okay. Export okay, so let's write this down now. So it was three thousand three thousand two hundred in damage. Okay. 
Yes. So you pay twenty thousand. We know what we've got to do. And now, so that's twenty three thousand two oh nine. That's going to go into this. You know who makes good license plates? Prison inmates. Wouldn't recognize it. Okay. I just do enough to get Not the bad. um yes, me. To get the uh the edge off. Wait a minute. I didn't did I use muscle? I did muscle? Oh. Okay, there we go. And I think my cargo bob is still out here. It's gonna be massive if it is saving a ton of time. Is it? Yes, it is. Oh, so okay. much. After what we put so into much this winning. One, we don't want it to go wrong. Take the car to the sale, and if another crew comes after it, so we're at the 35-minute mark right them. now, and I'm gonna have to math so I can figure out what we have. <laughs> Some of you guys are. Exceptional cargo bob pilots, and I I really would like to know if there's a class available. All right, wow, we get good delivery points too. Yeah, so we are going to say kind of your average delivery mark for money and stuff like that. I, I really have to say this number is going to be high because... Oh, oh, we did some damage. Um, it is going to be high because, number one, we're getting all top end. You probably won't get all top end without working for a while. Uh, there's... There's the speed and where the delivery points are. And like you said, we're getting really, really good on the delivery points here. So they're going to hit me. Are they going to hit me? Nope. I guess not. Yep. There it is. I just find it funny. Like, they're going to say, you made 99,700. You didn't make 99,752. You made 79,752 minus the. Was it the three thousand for the damages? But we'll have the info you need to make the best judgment possible. Hmm. <laughs> and that might take a little bit. So I hope, hopefully, this video won't go too long while we're doing a little math. Oh, and don't think that they won't show up on the racetrack. What'd I tell you? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, you did not hit me. I wasn't even near... That was so bad. I wasn't even near that edge. The other thing is, is when you use this cargo bob, you got to be careful because you're dodging that. You can whip the car up into the cargo bob and do like $10,000 worth of damage. It sucks. This is a heavy car, so it's good. But, uh, yeah, you got to be careful. There you go. Uh, what was it? 248? I, I didn't even write the thing down. I'm like, darn it! <laughs> That's okay. We get a, we're just going to rush back, try to source another vehicle. And we may be able to pull this off within the amount of time. Shut up. <laughs> I'm going to try to rush it. Uh, here comes all my daily expenditures. 
See, and this right here is something that really gets my goat in the game. Because if you think about it, let's say I bought a 10,000... 10, let's say I bought a million dollar shark card. How many... Every 20 minutes, how long would it take to eat through it? In daily expenses. And that it should... That should irk you. Like, GTA has quite the little... <laughs> going on. You almost want to be like, hey, I got loan sharks that don't cost us much. <laughs> and I don't because I don't have loan sharks. But that's beside the point. <laughs> I got to say I have something on a personal note today. I took, went out and took media pictures, which was the first time I've ever really... I've done stuff before and had like a portfolio. So, you know, you have your pictures and stuff because I do... Things outside of, obviously, the video game world. Uh, this has been just an amazingly fun hobby that I've had for a very, very, very long time. And I, for those of you guys that can do the math out there, 1987, 88 was kind of the first year I started doing stuff with uh, plugging in a Nintendo to um, plugging in a Nintendo to a VHS player and uh, and recording games. And that was... That was the time I started. Another time? Nope, mid-range. Ah, we got doinked. It's okay. So, see, that's going to be going to be a different different payout. But um, but yeah, I'd been doing it back then and you know, I do stuff that's um I do radio and I do other things that uh, I like podcasts and junk like that. And uh and it's kind of funny because um I really have I've done a couple of like I, they, some people would call them glamour shots. So got those details through. Okay, so the car is on the move. You're going to have to take it en route and bring it into the warehouse. Okay, so the car's on the move. So this is going to be a little bit longer than I thought, but we're still on a timer for the other part. Uh, yeah, entry office. But um, so yeah, I think some of the guys used to call them glamour shots, whatever they call them. That's what they were. Um, and that was the thing is, is I had never really, um, why do I have 22,000 now? Where do I get 22,000? Um, <laughs> see, that's what I'm saying. Like I gotta do, I gotta figure out where that money's coming from. Whatever. Um, somebody's going to be like, oh, you're not counting stuff. And I, maybe we aren't. And if they are, you gotta let me know. I, Cause I'll adjust stuff in the description. So you'll see a better way of that counting out. But, uh, so, yeah, like you said, I've never really done... We've done a couple of little, like, the glamour stuff, like, when I was in a band and when I, I did pro wrestling. and uh, But I never, like, really... I guess the word is I never took it really seriously. And that today, when we did the shots, it was definitely serious. It was like, you know, this is what we're doing. And and it was... It, I, I have to say it was fun. Like, I didn't expect it to what be that... Kind of cool, you know what I mean? Watch, it'll be a car that you can't shoot through the back. We'll have to do a ton of damage to it to grab it. Okay, time to steal. Time to meet your maker. The car show one's fun too, because that one's the one you can use the cargo bob on it. We haven't. We've been fairly lucky. Oh, where's where's the car at? Oh Jesus. Oh, it's coming this way. Uh, is it going to turn there? Oh, yep. Okay. So, uh, it's a big long trip to get this car. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. So glamour shots today. Really fun. Something for media. We probably never post on this channel, but. Uh, maybe you guys can tune into some of my other stuff at some point or look around for it. I got my own, I have a, I guess it's a celebrity Facebook page that like people can follow, but I don't post much to it. Maybe at some point I'll get, uh, a, um, like a manager or something. One of those people, like not a manager, it's a promoter, but anyway, I'm able to get one of those and they can, uh, push my page so 
I don't know, a lot of you guys just go through like five or stuff, don't you? To get your stuff done. You guys are so... Like, all these internet dudes, they got all this stuff and so much... I, I'm going to say the word is, it's so much faster than my stuff. And, uh, and I feel like a newbie. You know, it's like, oh, what'd you do? Like, I did this, and they're like, oh, yeah, you just, you just do this. This will be so much easier. Is he coming towards me? Yeah, he's coming towards me. So it's a Zentorno, which you cannot shoot from the back. You have to shoot it from the front. Uh, uh, yes, no, no seat you. That's a nice Zentorno, though, isn't it? So as you can see, a lot of good it would do if I had a cargo bob. I'm going to have to just go, take some damage on my crappy mid-range car. And you know for a fact they're going to be coming. Oh no, everyone in the room knows that I am delivering a car. If you ever have this happen, and you have in, or you're delivering, delivering stuff, just... Lee, oh, the cops are right. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, I can deal with that. Cops are good. Do you know why cops are good? Dude, where is Lester? Okay. Ah, if it isn't my yeah. creepy silent yeah, friend. Yeah, just remove my one to level Lester. So you don't want to get in serious trouble, huh? I'm already not okay. in serious trouble, Leave Lester, because you're around. Zero dollars on mid-range. That's not bad. We'll see how, uh, what it's like by the time we get there, though. <laughs> They will start changing lanes to try to like. It's almost like they block, try to block you. Little curb boosty boost. Don't change lanes, guys. That's the other thing. This car does not have the the grip of the Zentorno that I own because that car is done up completely. <laughs> See that guy swerving back and forth? And why did he do that? Why? Oh, controller batteries are low. Ugh. Ah! Okay, what are we doing? 47. Zero. That's what I'm talking about. Now, can we deliver this quick enough to make some cake on it? Yeah, fifth, four, is it 47? I think it's going to, we're going to be cutting this tight. But I want to get this done in an hour. And then we'll get a good average time about how much we're going to I'm going to do one. I think we should do one more delivery regardless. And then we can at least do like a minute count to see how much we're making over time. That would be a lot of fun. Okay. What do we got? How much time do you have to wait? Nine minutes. Okay. I'm going to change my batteries real quick. So the question is, is do we wait out the nine minutes? Because guess what? I have another top range here. And we're not going to deliver it. Because we're going to deliver a mid-range because that's what we picked up. <laughs> uh, everybody's like excited. Whoa, we're going to do the 80,000? Like, no, I'm not. But uh, what was the car we picked up again? It was in Zentorno, right? 
Yeah, Zentorno. How long did it take us to do the other thing? Man, we are really going to be down to the wire on this. <sighs> yep. All right. So that is done from this end. I have my batteries in charging. Or my new batteries in. This will give me an opportunity to take like a bite of food as we wait. So this is my new area here. I should plug the mic in so my character is talking while I'm doing this stuff. That'd be cool. So it's like, hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> this is Primo here. Ah, uh, yes, I do look like Claude. That was the intention. I thought you guys would appreciate it. <laughs> The uh, other character I have is a spitting image of Hitman. I've seen other people do Hitman and they suck, but I did them and I did a lot of work to get them to be right. Also, if you're building stuff up and you have to walk away, I think if you stay in something like this, it won't kick you out, but test it. My dude is not happy. <laughs> Even though I like doing that, I want to see the count. <laughs> Seven minutes. Yeah, we're, we're going to be right on the wire. And I'll count that as an hour. I could have probably done that other delivery pretty quick. And if I had, I might get it done a little bit quicker than, you know what I mean? So I could have um, gotten whatever bonus it was. Or so we doing a little like 20,000 mission or whatever. Um, I want to get some people to do the... Um, the biker delivery stuff. The little like the biker missions that are in the biker thing. The most money I've ever made is when those are double money. And um, I might just do them normally and then figure out what it is for double money. Because I'm pretty sure at double money, I don't think it's going to make as much as Kayo does. But it's going to be pretty nice. So this will put us at 58 for the time here. You know what? Last time we... All right. That car is registered on your Securo serve I'm account. aware. Come by the office if you want to source another one. We're going to take a risk of getting that cargo, Bob. That way, we'll be right on the... That'd be so awesome if we could actually get the cargo bob, have it ready, put the car in, be in and out fast. Hello, you're through to Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? Great. The aircraft is waiting for you at our nearest airfield. We trust you'll be happy, sir. I am ecstatic, ma'am. Thank you for asking. Sorry if I'm chewing in your ear. And of my favorite update that's been done so far, I really do think that Kyo is my favorite. And that's saying a lot, because I had um, Open Wheel is a big one for me. Um, I really was like thinking that that was going to be the one I loved. And, uh, and it was okay. So... The beauty of doing the Open Wheel thing, if, if we do it right, I could probably do... 30 minutes of racing and get a pretty good idea of what I'd make over a certain amount of time. 
That's the other thing, too, about racing. Everybody leaves. Like, you come in, you do your racing stuff, and it's like, oh, I'm winning. I'm like, oh, everybody leaves. Oh, the other guy's winning. Oh, everybody leaves. It's like it leaves you and somebody else to play, you know? All right, man, we are, we are down to the wire here. This can't get any closer. <laughs> I even want to do the math, right? Like start doing the math, but I don't have the uh, the thing. So far, it's let's see eighty thousand. Let's just say eighty thousand and eighty thousand minus two hundred forty eight bucks. Who cares about that? But let's say eighty thousand and eighty thousand, and then whatever this thing pays out at the mid range, and that's going to be our totally fit total figure, which will be really good if we really got this in a regular like. I'm going to grind today and this is what I'm going to do. I don't think that's too bad. But the thing is, here's the thing I hate about grinding. We just spent, and we did do it solo, but we just spent, an, we've done 55 minutes worth of time right now. And I, I just kind of don't feel, I guess the word is fulfilled. And this is why I say yeah, I like the Cayo Perico, I like the contact missions, I like the heists, any of the stuff that like gets people together, even the racing stuff, even if it's crappy. I'm like, I want to do it because it puts us in a position to kind of get together as people and do our stuff. Cayo, even if you do it solo, it's so dynamic that it doesn't feel repetitive. I know that sounds silly, but it's true. Like, I can get used to Cayo, but where the, the the bus is where the other thing is like how i go and do it like somebody was saying the other day about you know take this boat to the shore and do it like this and, and trust me it'll be really easy to just jump out and do this and i'm like i like that idea i think i'm going to try that next time and see how much faster i can do it instead of using like the kasatka it, it's morphed over time and i think that's huge for anything that we do uh, when it comes to G GTA, even if it is familiar, it still feels new. Or it still feels like it's it's advancing. Or I can experience it or get better at it over time. This right here, I mean, we've played this for 55 minutes. You've seen. I've done the exact same thing pretty much every time. Like, get in your car, drive up, grab the car, drive it back. You know, take 2,000 or 3,000 worth of damage. Pull it into the place. Call it a day. Uh, wait uh, 15 minutes, pick up the car, drive it out to the place, deliver it, <sighs> rinse and repeat. You know, Hopefully you get the most amount of money, but if you don't get the most amount of money, you do something else. Um, and that's the thing is, is if I had, if I could do this with other players, it, this doesn't pay out for when other people play with you. So there's no point where I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to grind some automotive delivery and you know, I'm going to bring some friends and do it. So, um, it just, I don't know, it's kind of empty for me. And we'll see that probably more when we do, because I, I think I'm going to set up like a cocaine thing. I'm going to do it in front of everybody so they can see it uh, for the um, motorcycle club. We do make do something with the money laundering, whatever. We're going to just continue to have stuff, and we're going to keep showing you different parts of ways of making money, how much you expect to make out off of it, that kind of stuff. And that that's really the goal here is to kind of everybody get everybody into the idea of knowing, especially new players, hey, what makes money, what doesn't, you know? And uh, and if that's the deal later on, we'll be able to actually rank everything together and then kind of give you an overall thing of saying, hey, this makes the most money and compare it in like maybe a spreadsheet or something when we're all done. But it's going to take, that's the reality here, it's going to take forever. All right, so we're at the 58 minute and 20 second mark. There we go. To make this as fast as we can. So, so it's sixty-two thousand five hundred minus twelve thousand five hundred. How much damage did we do to the car when we brought it in? Oh no, that's right. It was zero. Okay, sweet. All right. Hey, everybody's like, hurry up! <laughs> Let's get to the work. clock is a ticking. Your own personal DMV. Yep. Look at that. Fish. I am just trying to go as fast as I can. Uh, 
yes, confirm. Got a whole new profile. Nice. All right, we 59 20. We're not going to make it to the spot, but that's okay. We're, we'll we'll be as close as we can and I can still factor it in as like basically an hour. And we'll just we'll have okay. a real number. Like we just did Take the car to the three deliveries in in about an hour and I think if we had done things a little bit faster, like I'm writing down stuff and doing things like that. If you really are kind of pushing it, I think you can get this done a lot faster. Did I put that far enough over? You guys did. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Don't hit the, the helicopter. Oh, good. It turned sideways. Okay, where's my... Oh, yeah. Yep. That's what I'm saying. The far delivery point. I think this is one that we're going to have to drop, too. Drop and drive it in. So 62,500 minus 12,500. So that's, so that's zero. That's zeroed out. So it's really just 50,000 is what we're making. So if we do this with no damage, it'll be 8 and 8 uh, is 16. And what did I say? Uh, 8, 8, 16, 70, 8, 9, 20, 21. So 210,000. Is that right? 210,000? Yeah. 210,000 for one hour. Not bad. I, it's, yeah. It's, it's huge. So we're, we're at an hour and one minute here. That really shows you why this is something that's really a well-loved thing. And it's something you can do solo. You just need to have the right room to do it in. Oh, no, this isn't a bad one up here. We can drop the uh, helicopter on this one. Good. Okay. I was hoping it wasn't the other one. And it'll still keep us under the an hour, five minutes thing. So that's not bad at all. And like I said, some of you Cargo Bob drivers that know what the heck you're doing, you guys can excel at this. So, what was the total we did? 8, 8, 16. So, so 16 plus 5, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So, that's... So, buy... Spend 1 million on a tower. You're going to spend 2 million... On your, uh, excuse me, you're going to spend another million on your uh, storage area here. Or I'll do the I'll do the research on it later to get the uh, the number for that to make it exact. Um, well done out there. The money's in the bank. Yeah, it is actually. Um, and then, like you said, just uh, you got to get a cargo bob. As you can see, the cargo bob was huge. That was a million seven hundred ninety thousand. So up. Uh, that's the other problem with this one that I kind of get a little torn on. So if we made this eight, let's see, 200, 210,000. Um, so let's do the math. So what I'm going to do is, let's say, uh, yeah, what is it? To get invested, let's call it 3,790,000. First, let me land. So let's say three hundred, three million. Uh, excuse me, here's this right. Three million seven hundred ninety thousand divided by, and we said two hundred and ten thousand, and that's per hour. So it would take us eighteen hours. To break even. 
And I think that's where, so if you see the $25 million that I have in my bank account right over there, that $18 million represents, um, I mean, like 18, 9, 20, 20, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 7. So that's a whole, what do you call it? That's 18 hours, so it's 18, I, I, math is now escaping me. So 18 hours plus everything else it costs to get the $25 million. So, I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot of hours. That's like, I mean, 12 hours of gameplay to do what we just did. I don't know. That's that's a big that's a big number. <laughs> so, um, and I don't know how much you guys can actually spend time. Um, I'm here for you, boss. 100%. I appreciate that. Uh, but that's a lot of grinding, especially solo grinding and doing other stuff. I just feel like there's a better way. Uh, to make that money so it's almost like you want to make the money someplace else and then come back and do this and that's the thing is that there's something else out there that's making you more money so, then why wouldn't you just do that boss? but anyway that's how i feel we'll put it in the description the payouts everything what it costs what we totally made the exact count and everything and give you an exact number of how much you would stand to make per hour otherwise this has been primo this has been another one. This has been a fun one. I actually kind of dug this uh, just because it was something I've wanted to test for a while. And, uh, and like I said, I was kind of impressed at what, what it was, but still, to me, kind of underwhelming. So thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Primo. We're going to be back here sooner or later uh, to go back and show you guys some more about how to make money in GTA. Thanks for tuning in. Just give me the word, and I'll make it happen.